Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic of discussion is on the problem that occurs in distance vector routing algorithm. So in my previous and previous to previous video lectures, I have been explaining about the distance vector routing algorithm and wherein we have seen that in the network, a node will update its routing table by collecting the distance uh, vectors from their neighbors. So let us see what problem actually happens in the distance, distance vector routing. So if you remember that normally what the in the distance vector routing this node each node what okay in the network the routers they are collecting suppose if a is the node here a is collecting from this one b so this is let us take router a router uh, c a collects from c it's the distance vector of c and a also receives the distance vector from b so based on the values a will updates its what the distance vector so these things are happening normally but what can be the problem what whether all the entries that are uh, entered by the routing uh, router a are correct based on whatever a and c are sending so let us see one example here one particular uh, scenario here see first and foremost thing you assume in this manner let us assume that there is okay one router here another router here in between is the link okay and here you ha have another so this router and another router here let us give the routers the na different names so router a is there router b is there and in between are what the links that is they are connected by the networks now let us assume that see now to explain what exactly the problem can happen in distance vector i will just take one particular row in the distance vector we are see router a what normally maintains is so router a wants to reach to this particular network so we can say this as x so router a will write i can reach x at a cost of what one isn't it because it is connected to itself the next hop value will be a only so just let me write it in bigger font size now see router a e in its distance vector or in its routing table is maintaining this information to reach what to reach the network x it says that if the destination is x at the cost of 1, I can reach because it is connected to itself, the next to hop value will be A. Normally, this is what I said in the forwarding table, you have to write what three columns, the destination uh, network, the cost to reach that network and the next hop value. So, this is what A is maintaining. What about B? What does B maintain for this particular information to reach X? See, B can reach A at a cost of 1. A is reaching X at a cost of 1. So, B can reach X at a cost of 2. That means, 2 hops are here. So, that, that's why B will write, okay, I can reach X at a cost of 2. But the next hop is what always for B, it is A. So, it will write here A. So, this information is exchanged. Uh, after exchanging the distance vector, this is the information maintained by A and B. Now, let us assume that the link between these two. So, uh, let me use the different the link between this okay uh, be between this network and the router is not 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 reachable if it is not reachable then the update okay the new update should reach b here because b is completely dependent on a to reach x now a itself cannot reach x so a has to convey that information to b so normally what value no see in distance vector maximum of 6 15 hops can be considered above that 15 that means a value if the next if the cost value is 16 16 indicates the node the network is not reachable okay any value here whatever we are writing if it is 16 it means that path is not the destination network is not reachable so this is what actually a has to convey that is what x uh, it has to convey that now i can reach x at a cost of 16 it is not like reaching x x node is not reachable now okay the network x is not reachable this information should go to b but while exchanging the information before this information is sent to b because periodically the updates are the information is sent to the neighbors before this goes what has happened is b has sent this information again because periodically they keep on sending the information to the neighbors so this has come to a remember this is this has not gone to b so before this is sent the uh, this no router a has received this information from 
from which node from b node and moreover whenever the information is sent to the neighbors not the complete information that means the next hop will not be included while they are sending the information so node b will send only what this much i can reach x at a cost of 2 this is what is sent to the node a so node a what it will do it will update its routing table forwarding table and it will write okay i got this new update from b so what it will do is it will update because once this uh, b's information is reaching a a will assume that okay maybe b has found out a path to reach x okay in, uh, like there is an alternate path to reach x and at a cost of 2 so a knows that i can reach b at a cost of 1 b is sending what information i can reach x b is telling i can reach x at a cost of 2 so a can write down what yes i can also reach x now at a cost of 3 but the next stop is what b so a is just under the impression that it can reach successfully x via b fine then this information goes that means now you just re, uh, uh, skip this last column only x and 3 this information goes to what to the next one x 3 then after this goes a will update and a will update to x and 4 because b is receiving from a and it says that a can reach x at a cost of 3 b knows that it can reach a at a cost of 1 so it can update its distance vector in this manner it means what it can reach x at a cost of 5 once again this information is sent and a will update and this will go here once again this will update so this count keeps on increasing and we say the problem as count to infinity count to infinity is mainly happening in this two node loop we say it is a two example for count to infinity is two node loop so in a loop this distance vector is what getting exchanged a to b b to a this keeps on going on until it reaches infinity fine then finally what after that many num exchanges x will update its value and send what infinity then b will also update its table and it will write it as infinity infinity indicates what not reachable so now the system becomes stable just see if this information was conveyed at the right time these many exchanges should have got would have got voided now after this this infinity value and now the system becomes stable so what is the moral of the story here any good news is reaching fast in the network good news is whenever a router finds a does uh, this one node or the destination network reachable so that count is immediately circulated any bad news reaches very late so if the link is broken that information is reaching the other routers very late so this problem is called as count to infinity problem so what is the solution for the count to infinity problem is go for this split horizon what do you mean by split horizon split horizon is b always while sending its distance vector okay b when it is sending the distance vector it should always skip that information which has come from a that means if if the source of information for b is a once again it should not send that information to a why see look here what is the information a has conveyed a has conveyed i can reach x at a cost of 1 okay this was the if this is being received from b once again b should not send the, that information to a so that why that is why it will just include other nodes information except a how it is reaching that means uh, the information which has come from a will be deleted from this distance vector and then sent to a that's why we call this solution as split horizon what will happen now the split horizon will give it is giving to an another problem now what is the another problem which is resulting from the split horizon because see if that particular information is skipped in the distance vector now a will assume in another manner normally every router will maintain what a timer to receive the root information within the time limit the root information should come to that router if it is not receiving then it will delete that entry from the distance vector so when that entry is deleted from b and it because b is using the split horizon strategy and deleting the entry and sending to a but a may be under the assumption that what a may think that 
maybe b would have not received that information within the time limit hence that entry is deleted and it is forwarded to a so once again this also may lead to confusion that's the reason finally what split horizon with poison reverse is the ultimate solution wherein b can send the information to x definitely okay sorry b can send information to a to reach x but in what manner with a warning with a warning it can send it can summarize i can just tell again the things like the problem the name of that problem is count to infinity count to infinity happens one example where count to infinity occurs is in the two node loop and the two node loop the solution is the split horizon and split horizon also gives another problem to solve that better to go with split or split horizon with poison reverse so this is what actually i was telling i i wanted to tell you it is written in the double quotes also in the textbook any point of time when the node is using split horizon with poison reverse so it will write this warning message do not use this value what i know about the root comes from you so this is the most safest thing for this node to convey what to update the information for which it is not at all certain about so this way the problem can be solved here hope the explanation for this particular topic is clear to you all thank you bye bye take care